Okay, class, let's continue with inventory costing. I'm Matt Fisher, and I'm your accounting professor. And here's the example. Now, if you haven't looked at the previous two videos, the FIFO and LIFO, I recommend that you look at those first, all right? So here's the information we're using for our average method. We have beginning inventory of five soccer balls, and their costs are $10. And then we purchase 10 more at $11, okay? Under the average method, just before a sale, we have to calculate the average cost. So let's do this off the side here. Five at 10 would be 50. And it's not very good, five. And then 10 at 11 is 110. So here I've got a total of $160. And I've got a total of 15. So I'm going to divide this by 15 soccer balls, which then gets me my average cost of, and I've rounded this. 1067. So now all of our soccer balls are in inventory at the average cost, $10.67. So now, if you recall, we sell seven. Sales price is $20, so we'll debit accounts receivable, credit sales for seven times 20 or $140. But now what we want to know is what's the cost of goods sold associated with those seven? All right, we're going to do seven at 1067. And so then what we have left is 8 at 1067. Okay. So then my cost of goods sold is 7 at $10.67, which is $74.69. Now remember, this is rounded just slightly. And so then I've got 8 left at 1067. Now I purchase five more at $12. So let me put that in, five at 12. So over here, I've got my eight at 1067, which equals uh, 8536. And then I've got five at 12, which equals 60. So my total is 14526. To get my average, so it's my total cost. To get my average, I need to divide it by <clears throat> the number of soccer balls in inventory, which is 13. So when I do that, I'll get an average of $11.18. So now, all 13 are in inventory at $11.18. This is slightly rounded because it went beyond the 18 cents. All right, so let's now do our final sale. If you recall, we sold six. So then six at $20, but we're calculating the cost of goods sold. So it's six at 11.18. Six at 11.18 is 67 dollars and eight cents is my cost of goods sold. And so if I sold six, I had 13. So that means I've got seven left at the average of 11.18 which equals $78.26, All right? So my cost of goods sold is this amount and this amount, so I could add those two together, and then my ending inventory is seven at a total of that, All right? So this is the average method, sometimes called the weighted average method, and in our last video, <clears throat> we'll go over the specific identification method. All right, thanks class, see you soon.